to Samuel, chapter 9. And David said, Is there still anyone who saw the family living, so that I may be a friend to him because of Jonathan? Now there was a south people, a servant named Jeba, and they sent him to David. And the king said to him, Are you Jeba? And he said, I am. And the king said, Is there anyone of such family still living, to whom I may be a friend in God's name? And Jeba said, There is a son of Jonathan, whose feet are damaged. And the king said to him, Where is he? And Jeba said to the king, He is in the house of Machir, the son of Amir, in Lodiba. Then King David sent and had him taken from Lodiba, from the house of Machi, the son of Amir, and Mephibosheth. The son of Jonathan came to David and, falling down on his face, gave him honor. And David said, "Me people," and answering, he said, "Your servant is here." And David said to him, "Have no fear, for truly I will be good." To you, because of your father Jonathan, and I'll give back to you all the land which was ours, and you will have a place at my table at all times. And he went down on his face before the king and said, "What did your servant for you to take note of that dog such as I am?" Then the king sent for Jeba, Saul's servant, and said to him, All the property of Saul and of his family I have given to your master's son. And you and your sons and your servants are to take care of the land for him and get in the fruit of it so that your master's sons may have food. But Mephibosheth, your master's son, will have a place at my table at all times. Now Jeba had fifteen sons and twenty servants. Then Jeba said to the king, Every order which you have been given to your servants will be done. As for Mephibosheth, he had a place at David's table like one of the king's sons. And Mephibosheth had a young son named Micah, and all the people living in the house of Jeba were servants to Mephibosheth. So Mephibosheth went on living in Jerusalem, for he took all his meals at the king's table, and he had not the use of his feet.